Hi everyone! In today's video I would like to show you how to make the skill chains chart for every weapon in the party. As you guys seen in my latest video, when weapon skill is executed, notice that there's a skills chain chart for sword, for dagger, for club and stuff. So you can effectively skill chain when you do a boxing or multi-boxing like in my case. So step one is get the skill chains add-on. So search for Ivar and skill chains in Google. Should be the first link in GitHub. And this is one of the add-on that has to be manually installed. Next step is go to the directory under Windower add-ons where you have skill chains installed. Copy and paste it and rename it to something that will indicate which weapon this is used for. So in our instance, we're going to be creating one for the sword. So I'm just going to call it SC Sword 3. Keep that name in mind because we're going to be using it over and over. So open up that folder SC Sword 3 and rename Skill Chains Lua to SC Sword 3 Lua. Next thing, we're going to be editing the SC Sword 3 Lua, which we just copied and renamed. If you notice, on the beginning, there's a license block, which has to stay intact. And one of the points says that neither the name of skill chains nor the names of its contributors may be used to endorse or promote products derived from this software without specific prior written permission. So you will need to change author and the name. So uh, in my case, I just say author developer, command SC sort 3. The name has to match the name of the Lua. In this case is SC sort 3, and you can put whatever version you want. So let's do it. We go to the next spot. So here, What's happening is that um, Windower is getting the weapon skills available for the specific character that you're using. But since you cannot go to your party members and grab their weapon skills that are available, you have to provide them manually. So what I do is I comment out uh, the original line with comment, passing dedicated sword weapon skills. I provide my own table. And then I just called uh, add skills with that table. So this is my own table that I created. And then this table gets called here. Everything else is the same. So what does this really mean here? There's basically a, a one, two, three, four, five, six, and there is some number 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So let me show you what those are. So when you go back to the SC Sword 3 directory and open up Skill Lua, this is where all the weapon skills are listed. Navigate to 32, and that's where Sword weapon skills start. So that's where is the 32, meaning fast blade, 33, meaning burning blade, 34, meaning a red lotus blade, and 35, meaning flat blade. So when we go back to the SC Sword 3 Lua, you can see that the first weapon skill is mapped to 32, which happens to be fast blade. Second weapon skill is mapped to 33, which happen to be burning blade, etc. and etc. So you will need to recreate this up to whatever access you have. You can add more over here, but the problem will be that you're going to get uh, false positive. So if you don't have access to that weapon skill, guess what? The skill change chart will uh, inform you that you do. So uh, you can update this as you progress. Next step is uh, uh, just for the license purpose you replace the skill chains uh, over here with SC Sword 3. So these are the three spots when you make a change. 
Also, when you first load the SC Sword 3 Lua, it will create a data folder for you with settings. In those settings, you can modify the background of the chart. So using RGB colors, let's pick a nice background for the sort uh, skill chain chart. So let's go with blue, which will be red zero, green and blue are both at 153. So you go here under BG. So red is zero and blue and green are 153. So I'm back in the game. I have my paladin that's using a sword. So let's load up the add-ons. So I'm going to say Lua, load, skill chains, which is the original. That's for my main character. Then I'm going to load uh, the modified one for my paladin. So Lua, load, SC sword 3 and notice it says author developer version loaded successfully to get to that console just hit insert on your keyboard so I got some TP so let's put this whole thing to work so you guys will see how it works So I'm going to execute a weapon skill. And notice there's a blue screen for the sword. So I'm going to hit burning blade. So guys, there it is. Very simple. As I added sword, you can add a club, you can add a katana, gray katana. Besides multi-boxing or dual boxing, you can actually use this when you play with a friend. You guys want to figure out some skill chains you can do together. So it's very useful. There's one caviar. When dealing with Ionic weapons, obviously Ionic give you access to the ultimate skill chains. So there's a flag in the script for Ionic. So if you do a wielding ionic weapon, just enable that flag. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. All the best. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.